Before starting with the routing stages, we have to understand the importance of routing as technology shrinks. So as technology shrinks, device delay decreases, interconnect resistance increases, vertical height of interconnect layers increases in an attempt to offset increasing interconnect resistance. Area component of interconnect capacitance no longer dominates. Lateral and fringing components of capacitance starts to dominate the total capacitance of the interconnect. Interconnect capacitance dominates total gate loading. Routing objectives. These are SKU requirements. Open short circuit clean. Routed paths must meet setup and hold timing margin. DRVS max capacitance transition must be under the limit. Metal traces must meet foundry physical DRC requirements. Layout geometries should meet current density specifications. Here, routing means making physical connections between signal pins using metal layers are called routing. Routing is the stage after CTS and optimization where exact paths for the interconnection of standard cells and macros and IO pins are determined. Electrical connections using metal and vias are created in the layout defined by the logical connections present in the netlist that is logical connectivity converted as physical connectivity. After CTS we have information of all the placed cells, blockages, clock tree buffers, inverters and IO pins. The tool relies on this information to electrically complete all connections defined in the netlist such that there are minimal DRC violations while routing. The design is 100% routed with minimal LVS violations. There are minimal SI related violations. There must be no or minimal congestion hotspots. The timing DRCs and quality of reports are met and good respectively. Inputs of routing. These are net least. All cells and ports should be legally placed with clock tree structure and CTS def file. NDRs, routing blockages, technology data that is metal layer, left tech file, DRC rules, via creation rules, grid rules, metal pitch, etc. Routing constraints. Set constraints to number of layer to be used during routing. Setting limits on routing to specific regions. Setting the maximum length for the routing wires. Blocking routing in specific regions. Set stringent guidelines for minimum width and minimum spacing. Set preferred routing directions to specific metal layer during routing. Constraining the routing density and constraining the pin connections. These are the different tasks that are performed in routing stage as shown. First step is global routing, then we have to go for track assignment, then detail routing and we have to do search and repair. Global routing. It divides entire design into routing regions and generates a tentative route for each net. Each net is assigned to a set of routing region. Design is divided into small bins or called G cells and then it identifies the available track and assigned layer to nets. It calculates how many available tracks are there and it will be overlapped. It avoids long detours. Repetitive global route runs to reduce congestion. It does not specify the actual layout of wires and it is not sensitive to DRV violations. Track assignment. It takes the global routed layout and assigns each net to a specific tracks and layers geometry. It does not follow the physical DRC rules. It will do the timing aware track assignments. It helps in VR minimization. Detail routing or nano routing. The main goal of detail routing is to complete all the required interconnect without leaving shorts or spacing violations that is DRC violations. It follows routing topology from global track route. Here the actual layout of wires is specified. It completes the connection by adding vias. It routes a small area at a time and transfers the whole design box by box 
until entire routing is complete. Generally, routed in two phase. First, make all connections without worrying about DRC. Second, verify DRC and incrementally fix them till DRC count is zero. Detailed routing incremental fixes. Based on DRC type, tool will either spread the wires or fill a gap. This fix might cause some more violations like notch filling. Notch filling can cause spacing violations. Because of increased width and wire, spreading can cause violations in adjacent regions. Tool will analyze them and fix them. This is iterative loop. Search and repair. The search and repair stage is performed during detailed routing after the first iteration. In search and repair, shorts and spacing violations are located and rerouting of affected areas to fix all possible violations is executed. Routing preferences. Typically routing only in Manhattan where is done, that is north to south, so east to west direction, example layer 1 and layer 2 can be seen in the diagram. Spacing check with the adjacent layers, width checks for all layers via dimension rules, slotting rules, a segment cannot cross another segment on the same writing layer, wire segments can cross wires on other layers, power and ground have their own layers, mostly the top layers, layer routing directions, each metal layer has its own preferred routing direction and a defined in a technology rule file like uh, routing can be done in a fashion like m1 will be horizontal m2 layer will be in vertical m3 in horizontal m4 vertical and so on in some cases we can avoid following preferred routing direction for smart routing and non preferred directions say a design has nine metals for routing so which layer will be used for what can be decided based on the design so most probable case can be the top layers that is 8 9 can be used for power routing the middle layers can be used for clock routing that is 5 6 and 7 and bottom layers can be used for uh, routing the standard cells and so on a routing optimization is a step performed after detailed routing in the flow Inaccurate modeling of the routing topology may cause timing, signal integrity, and logical design constraint related violations. This may cause conditions wherein fixing a violation will create other violations, and many such scenarios may cascade to make it very difficult for timing closure with no timing DRCs. Hence, it is necessary to fix and optimize the routing of topology. Routing optim optimization involves fixing timing violations and timing DRVs that is max trans, max cap and max fan out, fixing LVS that is open and short and DRCs, finding and fixing antenna violations using jumper and antenna diodes, area and leakage power recovery, fixing SI related issues, redundant via insertions. Outputs of routing routing db file or def file with no opens and shorts timing report congestion report skew and insertion delay report and geometry layouts of all nets